Hello Capricorn, how are you doing? Welcome into your daily reading for Friday the 12th of November. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Let's call in your spirit guides to come into my spirit room and guide this reading forward. I am also calling in angel energy because I'm recording this on the 11th of the 11th portal and the angels are here right now, especially on our earthly plane. They are around to raise our vibrations during this time of change that we are going through currently on our planet. So I'm going to ask them please to come in here and guide this reading give us the messages that we need to see with regards to friday 12th of november and please advise us at the end of the reading as well let's see what will come up for you capricorn how are you doing by the way let's see but oh if you want to have a question asked or answered asked really <laughs> if you want to have a question answered comment below your question with your zodiac sign so that if you are a cross watcher check tomorrow or the following day in your own zodiac sign and i choose one person a day and i do like a little personal reading right at the end of every reading so if you want to see if your question is chosen for today stick around to the end of the reading let's have a look and see life experience here's your tower card how many times must a tower card stalk you in your readings for this week this is, I think, the second time. And I think last week there was somewhere a tower card in Capricorn's world. Archangel Chamiul's energy. A significant life event has either just taken place or is about to take place. A powerful revelation that leads to change. So something is going to happen here. Time to spread your wings, please. This is the tower card. Do not look at change as if it is a bad thing. We little humans, we fear change so much and we don't know that everything on this planet is involving change. The seasons are constantly changing. Um, we have life and death and birth. We have, um, you know, uh, time. We have night and day. It's a constant thing of change. We need to learn to flow with this because it leads us literally to the places we are meant to be. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Page of water. Woof. Hello, hello, hello. Um, an ending is going to lead you to new love. Okay, in, in, intuitive, sensitive, artistic and friendly. A new person is going to enter your life. Okay, a relationship that begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. Right now, the angels are here to help heighten our psychic abilities so that even though we're in the midst of change, we need to feel on an intuitive level that something else is coming in the future. You may have ended a connection, but what you don't know, this ending that you may not have liked very much um, is leading you to love again. You see, and maybe somebody that is perfect for you. Look at that. Seven of water. Yes. A complex decision. The need to do research and stop procrastinating. <laughs> I feel like release this ending. Don't hold on to this person that has gone. Um, think about your future and be open. There are seven cups in the seven of water or the seven of cups energy. And I feel like be open to allow whichever one of these cups wants to enter your world to come in. It doesn't mean seven people. I imagine that. Holy moly. Um, it doesn't mean that seven people are entering your world, but anything is possible with the seven of cups. Okay. So there is definitely love coming in for you here. And when this person shows itself, you will then be able to see this in your life. Uh, let's see what your angels and spirit guides will advise you as you go through the rest of your day and especially with regards to the situation i do feel like there was an ending already that has taken place maybe recently or a little while ago let's have a look and see yes a little while ago five of pentacles definitely this year maybe i don't feel like it's recent recent because the five of pentacles in the reverse position depends for each one of you it can be different but this is an ending five of pentacles let's see what else comes up here king of wands <laughs> there you go you may have an ending with a fire sign i am just saying because you've got this fire energy of aries leo and saggy with this king of wands energy um remember something as you go forward you need to trust the unfolding here the king of wands is a very good energy of what you believe you create okay the king of wands also believes has a faith in them I don't know why I always feel this energy of the King of Wands having faith in the future because they know, and I just saw something else here. It's kind of like bothering me, this card. There is a strength card coming up here. You've got a very strong connection coming in. And this is what the King of Wands knows. Leo's energy as well. Why I'm saying this is because the King of Wands um, can never get burned. 
because the king of wands was made out of fire. So when an ending happened and, you know, the fire happened and the, you had this downfall, you rise from that fire like the phoenix and you become the fire. And not only does endings and tower moments make us stronger, but it also leads us to people who are just as strong as us in the future. You see what I'm saying? So there we go. Thank you so much for coming in. And today's uh, question that I'm answering no, not today. <laughs> I thought there was somebody here, but nobody asked, asked yesterday. If you want to have your question asked for tomorrow, just comment below um, and give you all your zodiac sign as well so that I know which zodiac sign you are if you're a cross watcher. And come back and check tomorrow if uh, somebody has the question asked, if you guys want to do so. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I am wishing you all the best for the rest of your day. Bye.